So it has been a crazy past week, but really like the whole time I've been here, it has been full on nonstop. If you've seen any of my previous <laughs> Dia de Muertes videos, then you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So for the last couple days, I've just been, I mean, we all have been really just laying low, chilling out, not doing much, just kind of recharging after such a fun few weeks. So I thought I would take you guys along on a pretty typical day in my life here in Oaxaca City. This is my second time here, so I have a pretty good routine, as good as I can with everything everything that's been going on, but it has been nice to kind of just get back into a more kind of chill, normal person <laughs> routine. So today is going to be more of a work day. I'm staying at Co 404 Co-Living, which I stayed at last time I was here in March of 2023. It's my favorite co-living I've ever stayed in anywhere in the world. I absolutely love it. So I'll show you around in a little bit because I am going to go work up in the co-work space for a couple hours. It is my last full day here in Oaxaca City. And and I will talk to you guys about this a little later in the video, but I've been like really, really struggling um, <laughs> with the fact that I'm leaving and I'll get into it, but I have been very emotional the last couple of days and yeah, I will kind of explain why in a little bit, but let's go upstairs, have some coffee, have not done that yet and do a couple hours of work. I have a deadline um, today, so I'm gonna get that sent off and we'll see what the day brings. Okay, well, before I go upstairs, I'll quickly show you my room. Very basic, one bedroom. So yeah, this is my bed here. I believe it's a full. We have a full length mirror. Got a little desk here for if I wanna work in quiet, which it is quite quiet up in the co-work, but Sometimes it's nice to just have calls here. And then this is just a bunch of shelves. Um, I've accumulated kind of all of my toiletries and jewelry and accessories here. Put my towel here and then, yeah, this is just like kind of where I hang my clothes and organize everything down here. And then there is a shared bathroom like right down the hallway with two bathrooms and two showers and two sinks. I'll put the price that I paid for three weeks here. Obviously, if you stay for a full month, you'll get a bigger discount, which is super nice. But I ended up cutting my trip a week short because I'm going to Playa del Carmen for a super exciting free diving adventure. This is the hottest I've ever been. So stay tuned for that vlog coming next. But um, I will go upstairs and show you the kitchen and the co-work space briefly. It's beautiful. So welcome to the common area of Co 404. This is the beautiful kitchen. It's perfect for large groups and for long stays. They have so many pots and pans and your own little dedicated bin in the fridge. And today I'm making one of my go-to breakfasts and absolutely butchering this piece of bread. Ugh, so bad at cutting. <laughs> No, I want to go so bad. No, these are all places like Nepal, Pakistan. Like I want to go that whole area. And now we are officially in the co-work space. This is where pretty much all of us spend our days. Most of us work online and having this amazing co-work space with all of these call rooms is seriously so convenient and just a really great place to stay productive. So today I am working on an ad for a future YouTube video and I just pretty much have to edit all that, put my phone in my backpack so I'm not distracted. I edit on Final Cut Pro and yeah, this is me doing my thing, working away and it's going really well. It took me about an hour and a half to edit this 60 second ad and now we're done, ready to take on the rest of the day. Okay, so I got my ad finished and sent off. It took me about two hours, which is exactly what I was estimating. And obviously the co-work at Co 404 is amazing, but sometimes I just need to switch it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite cafes to work at. It's so, so beautiful. The coffee's incredible. And I'm actually currently walking through this beautiful plaza. I think it's called Plaza de las Paraguas. They just changed the decoration. It used to be a bunch of colorful umbrellas that were up here here now it's like this blue beautiful decoration right before you walk into this plaza it's like a lot of cars and traffic and really loud but it's kind of just like a nice safe haven if you just want to kind of escape the traffic for a minute people are in here just like hanging out reading books eating food and the cafe I'm going to is like literally right oh right here amazing Hola, 
Okay, so as you saw, I am currently at Cafe Moose. This is like two blocks from Co404 and definitely one of my go-to spots to come if I just want to like switch up my workspace. So downstairs is obviously a normal cafe that you can work at and there's a beautiful courtyard as well that's just so tranquil. Sometimes I'll just go there and read a book or write in my journal. It's just so stunning. But if you walk up the stairs at the back, there's a beautiful terrace up here. It's actually called Ama Terrasa. I think you do have to connect to a different Wi-Fi network up here because the one at Moose doesn't work but it is so stunning just so much greenery an amazing view of the city and then just lots of places to sit and just enjoy the views but yeah this is kind of a little hidden gem that I think you should definitely check out jumping in here super quickly to thank Surfshark VPN for not only sponsoring today's video but for protecting me from getting hacked for over the last three years in case you didn't know a VPN stands for virtual private network and it it basically encrypts everything you do online while connected to public Wi-Fi. Because unfortunately, it is very easy for hackers to gain access to your sensitive information and even steal your identity while you're connected to unsecured Wi-Fi networks at airports, hotels, and cafes. So when I started traveling full-time over three years ago, Surfshark was one of the first investments that I made and it has been well worth it. Because not only does Surfshark help protect your online identity, if your favorite show, for example, isn't available on Netflix in the specific country that you're in, this has happened to me so many times and it's so annoying. What you can do is you can actually change your IP address using Surfshark and get access to an entirely new content library on Netflix. It's so nice. If you're unsure if Surfshark is right for you, they actually have a 30 day money back guarantee policy and I have an exclusive deal for you to get an additional three months for free by using the promo code Crosby at checkout or clicking the link down below in the description box. Okay, literally five minutes later and I've made a new friend. A fellow Instagram follower, subscriber, this is Milana. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> I was just stumbling upon this cafe. I was like, is that Crosby? <laughs> and we just had a great talk. So yeah, really cool to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, meeting you guys in real life is like my favorite thing ever. But now I am actually feeling super hungry. I'm gonna go have a late lunch at this little organic market. I haven't been to it yet since I've been back, but it was one of my go-to spots on my first trip back in March. So I think you guys really like it. So let's head there now. I'm currently walking by El Zocalo right behind me. It's still so festive from Day of the Dead. All of the streamers are still out. All of the Katrinas are still lining the streets. If you guys haven't seen those videos, definitely go check those out. Oh my gosh, Oaxaca is seriously always so festive, so decked out. Even though it was just Day of the Dead, last time I was here, it's always so festive. There's always so much going on. So yeah, any time of year that you come here, it's definitely going to be super fun. So this is actually one of my favorite little streets in Oaxaca City. It feels very much like a little hidden gem. Like right here beside me, I think it's closed right now, but there's like a beautiful crafts market. Right in front of me is this, actually I went to this show with my mom last time I was here. It's called Micro Enormous. It is the craziest like sensory performance experience. Very hard to explain, but honestly super worth it. You do like a cacao ceremony and a mezcal tasting and it's all these crazy lights and sight. it's just wild. So the arches that you see next to me are called the Arches of Xochimilco, which is the oldest neighborhood in Oaxaca City. I actually really wanted to do a video over there, but ended up not having any time. But if you have time and you're here, definitely go over there. It is so cute, has tons of beautiful street art. It's just such a vibe and not touristy at all. But yeah, right here are the arches and it's basically where the San Felipe Aqueduct is. Very old, it used to provide all the water to the city until I think like the mid 1800s or something like that are mid 1900s but yeah the street is so nice and quiet i just love it okay i just looked and not only is the place i was going to on a different street it's closed today which is so sad i feel like it's always closed but this is actually a great excuse because there is a new restaurant up here that i've been meaning to try and it's in the cutest little courtyard i've ever seen i randomly stumbled upon it a few days ago and i actually really wanted to show you so this is actually a great excuse i'm excited you see how it's so inconspicuous that's how so many places are here in Oaxaca like they look like they're nothing from the outside you just have to go explore oh my god it literally smells like incense so much oh this place is actually so nice like I wish you could smell it I love incense 
So basically right when you walk in, there are a couple shops. There's a really cute handicraft shop right there. And then behind me is a clothing store with really high quality stuff that I cannot afford. It looks like it's closed right now, but yeah, the stuff is really nice if you have the budget to splurge. But yeah, this is a new restaurant I've heard about. It's called Almu and it's new. So yeah, this is a great excuse to try it out. Oh my God. I'm so excited right now. My food just came, obviously. It is massive. It's called a tlayuda. It's a very traditional Mexican street food dish, but obviously here they've made it a little extra fancy. People also nickname this like a Mexican pizza. It's basically like the base is a tortilla, a very large tortilla, and then they usually put a layer of refried beans. It looks like this has some rice in it, and quesillo, of course, Oaxacan cheese, and veggies. I think I see some avocado. Honestly, we will see. I'm not sure exactly what's in it. And then of course, we've got a little salsa picante on the side, which I will probably put some on. Also a trick in Mexico, when they say mild here, it's like spicy for the US. So put a little bit on your hand and just try it. Ooh, oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's spicy. It's really good though. I'm gonna dig in. I'm so excited right now. I'm so hungry. It's literally 4 p.m. and I haven't eaten lunch yet. <laughs> this is Mexican comfort food at its finest. You've got to try this if you come here. I had a friend join me. Hello. <laughs> We're going to get the best chocolate ice cream in Oaxaca City, if not all of Mexico. Maybe North America. Maybe the world. Maybe. <laughs> so we're gonna go. We're gonna go check it out. Oh, this is your first time trying it. I forgot. <laughs> oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just didn't know if I should act like it. No. <laughs> Like, mmm, so good. Literally, everyone at Co404 has an obsession with Rito's chocolate ice cream. It's just so thick and there's like nibs in it, like little cacao nibs. I'm not even really a chocolate ice cream person and it's so good. I literally got this yesterday and I came back again. We also have like other chocolate things. I just got some melting chocolate to make hot chocolate when I go home. So yeah, highly recommend. Usually, I spend my evenings at Co 404 playing cards with my friends, watching the sunset up on the roof, but I'm switching it up tonight and I'm going to something called Lucha Libre, which directly translates to free fight. And I've heard a lot about this, but I still like don't totally know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> I am not like a wrestling fan by any means, but I've heard this is more of like a performance. That's really all I know. Um, it's a very entertaining show. I'm sorry, what is <laughs> so a few friends and I decided to get some tickets and see what it's all about. So this should be interesting.
look on inch like the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> oh! Every time one of them got up on the rope, she's like, this is it, I'm gonna get squashed like a little bastard. <laughs> Don't tell anyone how I win. That entire thing was so chaotic. It's so fun, such a cultural experience and something just so Mexican, like this originated in Mexico. I don't, I mean, I think it's been adopted in other places like the US, but yeah, this is just such a fun thing. I'm now at a little taco spot to pick up some quesadillas for dinner and then head back to the co-living. <laughs> Good morning. Um, wow, that was such a crazy night. So much fun. I haven't fully processed the fact that I'm literally leaving Oaxaca in like five hours. It's crazy. I am not ready. I feel like I say that every time I leave anywhere in Mexico. Um, but yeah, it's just been such an amazing time here. Three weeks has absolutely flown by and yeah, I've like learned a lot, I think, about some changes I need to be making when it comes to my travel lifestyle because honestly, I've been like really struggling with just feeling like I don't have enough time places, that I don't have time for myself because I'm always working and always filming during my quote unquote free time when I'm exploring or whatever. And yeah, it's just been like a really big learning experience the past few months, really, but Honestly, like the last few weeks has been definitely uh, a big wake up call for me that I need to make some changes because I have just been so stressed, feeling really, really burnt out. Honestly, right when I got to Oaxaca, I talked a little bit about this on Instagram, but I kind of took uh, a few days off of social media completely to recharge because I just had a really, really bad bout of burnout. I don't know, like I was absolutely spiraling and I couldn't handle everything, all of my responsibilities that I have running this business by myself. Yeah, I took a few days off, which was so needed. And it did give me some clarity in terms of some changes I need to be making. So, you know, next year I'm gonna be doing things hopefully a little bit differently. I don't know when I'm coming back to Mexico. I have some tentative thoughts in mind of maybe sometime later next year when I want when I can kind of come back to Mexico. But it's been really hitting me the last <clears throat> I'd say few days. That I don't want to leave like this is my place every time I come back here I feel like I've come home it just feels so welcoming and familiar and it has such a good community here I love the culture and the locals so so much and so um, yeah it's been really hitting me that a lot of my travel plans for next year do not include Mexico I am really excited to go back to the US for the holidays like that is my favorite time of year especially to spend time with family and friends because I have so many traditions um, side note but I might actually do a vlog in Tampa for once where I'm from let me know if you'd be interested in that because when, every time I go home I'm like wow it's just Tampa and I don't know if anyone would want to see kind of like where I'm from and my friends and family so yeah if you're interested in that maybe comment down below anyways I am really excited to go back but yeah next year I'm doing more Central and South America I also have some plans to go over to South Africa and some of the surrounding countries so very exciting stuff but um, I just feel so at home here in Mexico and the thought of leaving without a like set time to come back is has really been messing with me anyways uh, that's kind of just been what I've been going through um, again all very first World problems I am just so happy to have the flexibility and the freedom at all to be doing this I mean it's just amazing but to find a country and a place in a community where you feel so at home especially as a digital nomad and someone that you know like me that travels full-time and it you know it takes a lot for me to want to stay in one place like longer it is um, yeah something that I'm like why am I leaving again like remind me <laughs> yeah that's kind of what's been going on um obviously dylan is not here so we really miss each other we're so over doing long distance and yeah he will be traveling with me pretty much full time next year also so that's a whole other update that i need to give you guys because yeah the solo travel days are numbered i mean he will be you know traveling around without me sometimes also so i will still have some tr solo travel moments but um yeah he's gonna be joining me next year which i'm very excited about i'm over doing long distance um and he's so fun to travel with and he's so fun to, to make my videos with i feel like i really come out of my shell and my personality shines through so much more when i'm with him that's 
pretty much about it. I um, guess I'll wrap up this vlog here. I am so excited for where I am going. I will be getting free diving certified in the cenotes of Playa del Carmen. So that is going to be such a cool experience and I can't wait to share with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to go check out all of my previous videos in Mexico City and for Dia de Muertos here in Oaxaca. I mean, what an experience. Everyone, I think, should be putting Dia de Muertos in Mexico on their bucket list, specifically Oaxaca City. I'm just a little bit biased there. Yeah, thank you so much for all of your support and for watching my videos. And I will see you in Playa del Carmen. Bye.